There you are. You're both here. Good. You're new to the Grey Wardens, and you may not have been told how an Archdemon is slain. I need to know if that is so. You mean there's more to it than just, say, chopping off its head? So it is true. Duncan had not yet told you. I had simply assumed. Tell me, have you ever wondered why the Grey Wardens are needed to defeat the Darkspawn? That is exactly what it involves. The Archdemon may be slain, as any other Darkspawn, but should any other than a Grey Warden do the slaying, it will not be enough. The essence of the beast will pass through the taint to the nearest Darkspawn and will be reborn anew in that body. The dragon is thus all but immortal. But if the Archdemon is slain by a Grey Warden, its essence travels into the Grey Warden instead. The Darkspawn is an empty, soulless vessel, but a Grey Warden is not. The essence of the Archdemon is destroyed, and so is the Grey Warden. Meaning... the Grey Warden who kills the Archdemon... dies? Yes. Without the Archdemon, the Blight ends. It is the only way. It warms my heart to see such courage. But do not hurry so to sacrifice your life. If possible, the final blow should be mine to make. I am the eldest and the taint will not spare me much longer. But if I fail, the deed falls on you. The blight must be stopped now, or it will destroy all of Ferelden before the rest of the Grey Wardens can assemble. Remember that. But enough. I... That it does. Do not be alarmed. It is only I. I did not come here to speak of sentimental things. I came here to speak with you. I have a plan, you see. A way out. The loop in your hole. I know what happens when the Archdemon dies. I know a Grey Warden must be sacrificed. And that sacrifice could be you. I have come to tell you that this does not need to be. I offer a way out. A way out for all the Grey Wardens that there need be no sacrifice. A ritual. Performed on the eve of battle, in the dark of night. It is old magic. From a time before the Circle of Magi was created. Some would call it blood magic. But I think that means little to one like you. What I propose is this. Lay with me, here tonight, and from our joining, a child will be conceived. The child will bear the taint, and when the Archdemon is slain, its essence will seek the child like a beacon. At this early stage, the child can absorb that essence and not perish. The Archdemon is still destroyed with no Grey Warden dying in the process. Think about what I offer you. The chance to avoid death. Or better yet, the chance to slay the Archdemon and live as a hero. No Grey Warden has ever done this. In return, I conceive a child. One who will be born with the soul of an old god. After this is done, you allow me to walk away. And you do not follow. Ever. The child will be mine to raise as I wish. This is what my mother intended when she sent me with you. She was the one who first gave me this ritual and told me of what I was meant to do. This does not surprise you, does it? Did you not wonder why Flemeth saved your life? Why she aided you? This is why. What is important is that I am offering this to you now. It will work, and it will save your life. As you wish. Ignoring that after but one night it could barely be called a child, no, it will not be hurt. Allow me to say that what I seek is the essence of the old god that once was, and not the dark forces that corrupted it. Some things are worth preserving in this world. Make of that what you will. I do not wish to tell you. The child will represent freedom. For an ancient power, a chance to be reborn apart from the taint. Is that not reason enough to do it? 
I will raise the child apart from the rest of society and teach it to re No, you never will. This is all I ask in return for freeing you from the burden the Grey Wardens have placed upon you. Then you have decided? Consider the possibility that Riordan... Do you let Alistair, the future King of Ferelden, take the blow instead? And what if he does not make it to the Archdemon either? I am glad to make this offer to you after all we have meant to each other. Certainly the act of laying together is not certain. A wise decision. Come, my love. Put the thoughts of the ritual aside and let us make this last night together one to remember. We have gathered all the forces we can. The Darkspawn Horde is sure to reach the capital before us. And so we must race to Denerim as quickly as we can. The lives of many thousands hang in the balance must not forsake them. You have gathered an arm. Grace the one lost at Ostagar, Grey Wood. Let us pray that it will be enough. Before us stands the might of the Darkspawn Horde. Gaze upon them now, but fear them not. The man beside me is a native of Ferelden, risen to the ranks of the Grey Wardens. He is proof that glory is within reach of us all. He has survived despite the odds, and without him, none of us would be here. Today, we save Denerim. Today, we avenge the death of my brother, King Kaelan. But most of all, today, we show the Grey Wardens that we remember and honor their sacrifice. For Ferelden! For the Grey Wardens!
You've managed to fight your way to the gates. We're doing better than I... That will change. Bloody nut. What are we... The army will... I suggest taking Alistair and no... We're going to need to reach a high point in the city. And think... The top of... We have little... Ch I can say... I am sure that if we did... It may also waste resources trying to find them. The decision is up to you. There are already several units of our allies within the city by now. They may be able to come to your assist now. Yes. 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 Fair enough. Anyone else will need to remain here and assist in keeping more Darkspawn from coming in the gate? Very likely. Good. Nothing you have done. So this is it then. All that we've been through has led up to this. Whatever happens now, to either of us, know that I am proud, infinitely proud, to have called you friend. Onward then, and may the Maker smile fortune upon us. So, this is it. You took in a drunken disgrace of an Orzammar warrior. You gave me a reason to fight, and the will to keep going. You helped me find the one woman in the sodding world who might put up with me. And you helped me get past Bronca so I could have someone new. I owe you a lot, Warden. I consider it a fine honor to die for you and your cause. Then it's sodding honor for everyone. <laughs> That's war for you. Let the stone turn red from the blood of heroes. Today, I will be the warrior you taught me to be. So the Arch is next, is it? I would not have thought I would say this, but... Oh, it is. Without me there, it would be doomed without question. Let us try to get through this without my being rendered into so many pulverized pebbles, yes? Or eaten by the dragon. It might give passing a stone all new meaning, but I don't want to be there for it. Ah oh well, enough talking. There is a burning city to invade, or something. Are you ready? We have reached the battlefield at last. The Arishok asked what is the blight. I stand here looking into its eyes and still have no answer for him. But perhaps you do. You have carried us this far. Do not doubt that. So this is it? I wish I could go with you. I respect your decision to keep me here, even though I would have gladly stood by your side even to the death. You have been a true friend, and I... I will be extremely cross with you if you don't return. Be careful out there. I will see you soon. Heading off to slay dragons without me, hmm? Fine, fine. Say hello to the Archdemon for me. He never writes anymore. It's rather distressing. And do watch your back. No getting eaten, unless you think it's really important, of course. Before we head after the Archdemon, I want to say something. I know Morrigan's... What she did is supposed to save us, but who knows if she can be trusted? Or if we'll even survive long enough to take that final blow. So I just want you to know that it's been an up fighting by your side. Let's find this Archdemon then, and kick its ass. After all that, I will not be going with you? <laughs> Sentimentality. I'm touched. Truly. Let us part ways now. You go your way, to your destiny, and I go my way, to mine. And so you... make it difficult for me, do you? This could have been so much easier. I allowed myself... I should have known better. Yet I cannot bring myself to regret. Now this is badly not like it.
That I cannot do. Kill those godless bastards! We're counting on you, Warden! You. There's a large group of darkspawn approaching, and the gates. Uh, all right. Run. Are we in a hurry?
You say Shall I send word that the gates are right away?
Enchantment? Enchantment? Enchantment?
casting more dark spawn.
And then it was over. With the archdemon dead, the Darkspawn horde quickly crumbled. Most fled back into the deep roads. They would remain a threat in the years to come. But the blight had been ended before it had truly begun. Ferelden had been saved, and the entire kingdom rose up to joyously greet its new king. Grey Warden stood beneath, and a new age had begun. But at what cost? My friends, we are gathered to celebrate those responsible for our victory. Of those who stood against the Darkspawn Siege of Denerim, there is one in particular who deserves commendation. Hmm. The one who led the final charge against the Archdemon remains with us still. An inspiration to all he saved that day. Ladies and gentlemen, may I present to you the hero of Ferelden, the first Grey Warden to defeat the Blight since Gadahel four centuries ago. My friend, it is hard to imagine how you could have aided Ferelden more. I think it only appropriate that I return the favor. Is there any boon that you might request of Ferelden's king? It is within my power, I will grant it. Okay, um, allow me to say something. When you get to the epilogue, you, you get something interesting. What, you can ask him, you want to serve, serve the crown, he will make you his chancellor. Or you want some tired witches, he will give you that. The sacrifice is the one that should not be forgotten, that could, that, that is one of the options that will be in every game. The one, two, four, one, two, and four will be the will will be what be a, a option for any character you play as. But the third option is for your certain characters. If you're if you're a mage, you can ask him to suck the mage that's given his independence. You know, for a deus elf, you can ask for a land. If you played the DLC of Dragon Age, um, the human, the human, I mean the dwarf noble and the dwarf commoner are is both of them are exactly the same for the third option. Not, 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 not land. You will ask um, um, the king for for help, so they will give you a, a like a banner of army for for. So you know, to, to fight the, um, the you know, to fight um, dark spawn underground. But in my, but this is my choice. I will ask for the second to be given this independence. You know, that's a very good point. Let it be known then that the circle has earned the right to watch over itself. The tower shall be restored and then turned over to the mages. Let it also be known that the Arling of Amaranthine, once the land of Arl Howe, was granted to the Grey Wardens. There they can rebuild, following the example of those who went before them. What are your plans? Will you remain with the Grey Wardens? I'm tempted to find Morgan. My impression was that she didn't want to be found. But I understand completely. Uh, there's a group of Ferelden citizens waiting outside to get a look at their hero. I suggest you make at least a brief appearance before they storm the gate. <laughs> Just tell the guard at the door when you're ready.
So, we made it. I'm impressed, aren't you? The odds were completely against... I just don't understand how you're still alive. Morrigan. I had no idea. I suppose that makes sense. Speaking of Morrigan, do you know where she went? I'm told she vanished right after the battle. No goodbyes or anything. Good riddance, I say. Uh, at any rate, I can see Arleman giving me that look. And if I don't get the chance some other time, I'll let you get to your adoring public. It is over. On behalf of Ferelden, allow me to say. <laughs> it's too bad that you aren't remaining here in the capital. The hero of Ferelden would have influence, but I understand. Myself, I will be remaining here. I'm not certain if I will go back, however. With my family gone. What a... But here I am, rambling. Yeah, because his son is dead. Ouch. So here we are. The conquering hero has won the day, and now he takes his bow and exits. I don't know. I haven't read that part yet, have I? You'll have to tell me. Oh, is that how it is? <laughs> you know, I, c I thought I was supposed to save you, to show you the way. But it seems it was meant to be the other way around. I know, it's just very dramatic. I have to remember to write it down. I've been offered a position to head up an investigation into the Darkspawn. It's quite exciting, really. Oh no, you have your own things to keep you busy, I'm sure. It will be a grand adventure of my very own. I'm looking forward to it. At any rate, you should get back to the celebration. We can speak another time. Okay. I will be relieved. Such events are perfect opportunity. You see? This is why I like you. You know, it does occur to me that staying in one... You said earlier that you are planning on leaving soon. Is that true? Yes. And would you consider some company? You tend to get up to interesting things. You meet interesting people and then you kill them. I'm game to tag along if you... And I promise not to get you into too much trouble. Uh, well, no more than you get me into, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> well then, since we're going to be leaving together, uh, we can speak after you have been sufficiently paraded in front of the populace. Don't worry, I'll keep an eye on you and make sure no one gets a clear shot. Not without paying me a great deal of coin, anyhow. Okay, buddy. The hero of Ferelden. My, my. How does it feel? Alistair's idea, I understand. But it's not so bad, is it? A blight defeated with the other... Until you do something wrong. And then they will enjoy tearing you down just as rapidly. I'm glad not to be on the receiving end of all this attention. Not that I've gone without notice. Irving asked me to take over as first enchanter. But I don't wish to go back. Not after all this. Instead, I've decided to travel. So Shale has expressed a desire to go to Deventer to look into a way to regain her mortality. And uh, I will join her. I understand you will be leaving. I wish you good fortune on your journeys, wherever they may take you. If we do not see each other again, live well, Warden. And thank you. Humans have a better taste for spirits than I thought. <laughs> the ale up here is actually good. Or some our ale tastes like dirt in comparison. Probably, after what we went through, <laughs> I think I've earned it. I think you've earned it. So I guess you're heading off soon, huh? I'm thinking I'll stick around myself. <laughs> At least for a bit. I'm getting used to that big sky up there. And I'm thinking I might just look up Felsi again. <laughs> oh, ah, uh, well, enough babbling. <laughs> it's been good traveling with you, Warden. Don't get lost in the shuffle now. It is good to see you again, Kadam. These people, they call you hero. The Arishok on occasion has to... Such examples are always made after their death, however. I would argue, had you not ended a blight, for such an accomplishment there may be allowances. What the human custom has, it is one of few occasions when the Kunari are permitted to engage in revelry. There is... Hmm. Yes, 
Were I too weak to protect myself, I suppose I would also be vastly relieved to have a hero save the day. I suppose I should tell you. I have decided to return to my people. Your quest is done, and thus so. Yes, it will be difficult to travel alone, after so much time spent with companions. It must be said. You found my sword and gave me a chance to restore my honor. I owe you a great debt. It has, that one of the Baz, a foreigner, would become known as Kadan to me. Unthinkable. Yet here it is. Perhaps I shall see you again. Until then, may you always seek. Farewell, Kadan. Um, here's a fun fact. If anyone reads the comics, uh, that's the comic book, if I recall. Um, Stan has to become an air shock. Alistair, Alistair, and two companions from... Well, I could say, I could say that. Are you ready, my lord? The crowds Farrakhan outside Isabella are getting restless. Actually, went went with Alistair on the journey, and they and they encountered Stan, and Stan became an air shock. It's in the comics. I'm not joking. 